This is the sewer hose. I have never liked a big, slinky, stinky sewer hose. Of course, another thing too is I, I usually, we usually camp in full hookups and very seldom have to go to a, uh, a dump station. I do have a stinky slinky as a backup uh, in case I do have to go to a, um, a dump station. But anyway, this is the neatest thing because this hooks on to the, to the sewer hook up here. And right here, you hook on a hose, which is one of these right here. And this goes in here and you've got high pressure water shooting through this small or orifice here and as the solids come down it breaks up the solids and you're able to flush them right on out but this sewer solution is absolutely the best thing i've ever used i did i think in previous videos a video on the sewer solution and um but i don't know i've had a lot of people at campgrounds stop by and say hey where's your sewer hose and i show them one of these and i show them how they work and i would say probably 75 80 percent of the people that sees how this works uh, usually says, man, I'm going to get me one of those. But it's SewerSolutions.com. This is, um, <clears throat> right here is my black tank flush. And I have a quick disconnect on it. And with my flushing hose I've got here, I can quick disconnect it to the to the flush and I'm I'm a real big proponent of uh, having quick disconnects and I've had really good luck uh, with these quick disconnects as you can see here and uh, you can get these things at Lowe's or at um, uh, Home Depot but I mean it really works well. So anyway, just a thought. If you notice on my two drain valves, there looks like a screw in each one of them. And that is exactly right. It is a screw. And what is that? What that does is to keep from having these valves freeze up on you, you can drill a small hole and and you can take a WD-40 or a silicone spray, and primarily a silicone spray, and spray it in there and pull the handles back and forth to lubricate the gate. And then you can just screw the valve back in and they don't, or screw those screws back in and they do not uh, leak. But that has always kept my valves very well open. I saw this done on a previous YouTube video and thought, mm, that's a great idea, especially how sometimes these valves get hard to pull and push in. And ever since I started doing that and lubricating them periodically, uh, I've had no problem whatsoever and it helps to preserve those, uh, uh, those valves.